Public sector borrowing in Britain reached the second highest level for any October since records began. According to official figures, borrowing was £14.9 billion last month, £4.4 billion more than the same point last year. However, the figures show a smaller than expected deficit across the first half of the financial year. This was due to higher tax receipts in previous months, reflecting higher wages and inflation. Shell Energy has been fined £1.4 million for failing to prompt out-of-contract phone and broadband customers to get a better deal. The communications regulator Ofcom found that Shell's UK broadband and phone business broke consumer protection rules designed to ensure that customers get a fair deal. This impacted more than 70,000 customers, leaving 6,000 paying almost £400,000 more in total than they needed to. Outsourcing firm Capita has announced it will cut around 900 jobs worldwide as part of a significant cost reduction program. The cuts will mainly fall on indirect support function and overhead roles. As Capita tries to cut costs by £60 million per year, Capita, which runs crucial services for local councils, the military and the NHS, employs 43,000 people, mostly in the UK, but also across Europe, India and South Africa. Social media company X has sued watchdog group Media Matters, alleging the organization defamed the platform after it published a report that said ads for major brands had appeared next to posts touting Nazism. X, formerly Twitter, has faced growing outrage since the report was published on Thursday, leading to several advertisers pulling ads from the platform in response. In a lawsuit filed in the U.S. District Court in Texas, X said Media Matters knowingly and maliciously portrayed ads next to hateful material. Media Matters has said it stands by its reporting and claims the lawsuit is an attempt by X to silence critics. And those are your main stories from London at Close of Business.